Hello, it is I, Tabor. While exploring, I noticed this unmapped island off in the distance. I made it my goal to get to this island. First, I tried flying, but I didn't have enough stamina, even with stamina restoring food. Then I played the patience game and built an ice bridge all the way across the water to the island. Is there another way? Probably, but I'm not sure. So what is here on this island? Well, first of all, you get an achievement. Sweet! Walk a little further and you will find the sundial, and when inspected, it tells you a riddle, and Paimon will tell you to look around the area. But before we look around, make sure to grab the Animoculus behind it. Now, if you look around, you may come across this guy. Just to warn you though, he is level 35. If you continue to look around, you will find a rock pile next to this little encampment here. It will reveal a ragged notebook that gives you hints on how to solve the island's mystery. As the notebook tells you, the island feels strange around 2am to 5am, so set your time to 2am and inspect the sundial. After doing so, use your elemental sight to reveal four symbols on the sundial. Now, if you search around the island with your elemental sight, you will find four elemental orbs that you must use your wind ability on. Note, you must find these between 2am and 5am. The locations are as follows. The first is at this rock on the northwest side of the island. The second is over by the water by this fallen pillar on the south side of the island and requires ice to reach. The third is on top of this pillar to the right of the sundial. And the final one is directly behind the sundial on the arches. Upon collecting the last one, a windstorm will envelop the island. Return to the sundial and directly down the stairs and use your elemental sight to reveal a giant orb that you must once again use your wind ability on. This will spawn the Eye of the Storm. This guy can be difficult if underleveled, so I recommend being at least level 25, but I managed at level 20. After getting the boss's health low, he flees, and you have to chase him with these super fun glider boost rings. You then will land at the Thousand Winds Temple, where you can speak with Henry, in which he will tell you he didn't see the Eye of the Storm. I would recommend being at least level 30 before you begin this next part. After your conversation with Henry, go to the sundial and set your time to 2am again. Then use your elemental sight to see and activate the orbs surrounding the sundial. These orbs will spawn wind slimes, so make sure to take them out. After doing so, another big orb will spawn, and once you activate it, the Eye of the Storm will return. This time, he will be a higher level, and will spawn other enemies throughout the fight, so make sure you're prepared for this one. Once you have defeated the Eye of the Storm, go talk to Henry once more, and he will reward you with Primogems and Character XP consumables. He also mentions that he would like to figure out the mysteries of the Sundial together with you. So, if this questline continues, I will let you guys know. Anyways, I really enjoyed this hidden quest and thought I would let you guys know about it. If this video was interesting or helpful, please drop a like and maybe a sub. Also, all this footage was captured live on my Twitch channel, so feel free to follow me there if you want to catch a stream. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you all later.